this design, it's, it's based with an arrow. So the arrow for me has always been about rise above and a positive mentality. Um, rise above challenges or adversity that you have in your life. started with first the mock-up, uh, the photograph of the mural or the building, and an illustrator started playing around with the different colored arrows. For me now, I'm actually more interested on the abstract shapes that are inside the design. I think what's great is that it's open to interpretation. That's why I love abstract art, is that each person can see it for, some people might not even see the arrows, which I think is great. Recently, he's really begun to, he's begun to expand his practice. He's doing a lot of different murals that uh, embrace a lot of different symbolic content. He's uh, embraced a, a studio practice. Uh, it was a lot of work to get this right. I mean, it, it's, a, it's a simple uh, conceit, uh, but to actually execute it and make it look right uh, was a challenge that took almost three weeks of painting. It's uh, an expansion of his kind of studio practice, something that he wants to share with people that, that is hopeful, that does have that, that content of the upward facing arrow, but also talks about the kind of energy that you get from the streets, but that you can share throughout the world in museum settings, in galleries, or uh, here with public art. When I started off doing the arrows, uh, I would just be laughed at and just critiqued, but I just had this passion and had this drive. So. I, I subscribe to the mindset of if you, have a, if you have an idea and you have enough persistence, you can make anything happen. So, so just keep following your passion and just always believe in yourself, regardless of what anybody or the outside world says about it. Just keep, just keep following your passion. If it's there, you will succeed.